before going for the statistical understanding of entropy we have to see one more important corollary of second law of thermodynamics that is the entropy maximization let's see what it is let's consider a process it is called a joule expansion it is quite elegant in giving lot of insights into second law it is this in an adiabatic container there is one mole of an ideal gas it is contained in one half with a partition in the middle when the partition is removed the gas expands this is free expansion because the gas does not move anything such as a piston while expanding it is easy to sense that this is an irreversible process or natural process the gas just expands once the partition is removed okay in summary this is adiabatic irreversible expansion of one mole of gas the gas can expand up to the entire available space then we can say it has reached equilibrium because it is not going to expand any more the volume is now twice the initial volume of the gas it is adiabatic so it is obvious that there is no heat exchange that is q equals 0 i also told that it is a free expansion that means the work done w is 0 in the video on work we have seen that the work is done against an external pressure here we are just removing the partition and the gas expands against zero pressure therefore the work done is zero since the q and w are zero there is no change in internal energy or temperature now we'll see how to calculate the entropy change for this process since q is zero can we simply say that q divided by t is zero and entropy change is zero we can't because this is not a reversible process only in the reversible process we can say that it is equal to q divided by t therefore we need to figure out a way to calculate the entropy change since the entropy change depends only on the states and not the path between the states we can try to think of achieving the same change in state through reversible process therefore we can use the q divided by t formula here is how we can do that in the left we have the joule expansion in the right the same change is achieved considering a reversible isothermal expansion the pressure on top is reduced gradually so that the gas expands it does work w to maintain the temperature constant heat q is supplied what we have done is this we had a irreversible process in which the entropy change is not equal to q divided by t we achieved the same change using a reversible process where it is equal to q divided by t now in the video on calculation of work we have shown that in an isothermal reversible process the w is equal to q and it turns out to be nrt natural log of v2 divided by v1 we can use it here since n is 1 and the final volume is twice the initial volume we get r natural log of 2 v1 divided by v1 therefore the entropy change is r natural log of 2 let's see a visualization we have two states with entropy values s1 and s2 respectively if we move from state 1 to 2 reversibly then the entropy change is exactly equal to the integral delta q divided by t we have seen in the video on entropy production that when the change is done in an irreversible manner then the entropy change is higher than integral delta q divided by t and an additional term is required which is entropy produced in joule expansion the heat exchange is zero therefore the entire entropy change is equal to the produced entropy now in this if the gas expands only partly then the pressure in empty part and the part with gas atoms will be different as we have seen in the video on equilibrium mechanical equilibrium would not have been achieved when there is a pressure difference therefore in order to achieve equilibrium the gas expands until it reaches the final volume 
once it has reached that volume it does not expand more all this is obvious imagine what happens to entropy change look at this result if the final volume is less than 2v1 then the entropy change would have been lesser that means when equilibrium is achieved the volume reaches maximum possible value and hence entropy reaches maximum imagine the size of the chamber to be even higher then the final volume will be even higher then the final entropy will also be higher so this is the most important corollary of the second law when the equilibrium is reached in a natural process entropy reaches maximum but what is the meaning of entropy is still an enigma we will see what it is in the next few videos see you